guys and welcome back to a another daily vlog i am currently in my office and i just got finished with my second meeting of the day it is currently 10 30. so i got up this morning brushed my teeth washed my face did my face care, skincare routine my hair is in a ponytail i'll probably do it later or either wear a hat i'm supposed to be going out to dinner with the girls tonight so i'm just trying to figure out what I'm gonna wear because I do need to like wash my hair or whatever but we're not doing that on a weekday but this is like my super simple outfit so I got on this like I don't know this jacket that I got from forever 21 when we was in Las Vegas I believe this shirt is just a gray like back in the day remember y'all used to wear those muscle t-shirts with the shoulder pads I think they're still cute I think I only have a gray one left though so I have this gray one on and then I have on my gray sweatpants from um fashion nova you know i've seen it before it's the cargo ones that come with the matching shirt i just decided not to wear the shirt and then i have on my gray new balances so we're just doing different tones of gray today for a more of a laid back casual look um so the plan for the day is to finish out work to clean up my room <laughs> that part clean up my room um redo my nails so i'm currently working on that now and decide what i'm going to wear tonight to the girls dinner um so this new company reached out to me and sent me some more pr stuff for some nail colors you guys know last time i worked with another company and now i'm working with this company called nail reserve and um currently the nail tips or the nail full nail full cover nails i'm using are the kiss bring the salon home short nails for me the short nails are still a little too long i can i think i can type in these i may or may not clip them it just depends but they look like this and i picked them up from a walmart you guys see that so they look like this i picked them up from walmart you get a hundred in there and they come in like a little box but it also comes with like the nail glue. But I didn't use the nail glue. I used the builder gel like I did last time. I am still learning the builder gel. I am not the best at it. They still pop off and on. So I'm still trying to figure out what is the right way to do it. I'm having a lot of air bubbles. I don't know if I'm not doing the right amount of pressure or what. But I'm trying and it just doesn't seem to be working. So it's a little disheartening. But you know, you can't be that way. You got to learn how to do stuff. So they sent me a bunch of colors. Now, I originally only got like, I want to say four or five colors. And I emailed them back and I was like, hey, you guys, thanks so much for the PR. I was like, but if I need to show these on my channel, I need you guys to send the base coat and the top coat. Because according to you, you have to use the base and the top coat. So it's like, oh, our bad. Just, you know, tell us we'll send you four more colors and then we'll send you the base coat and the top coat. So why when I got the package today there's no base coat or no top coat so i don't know if they misunderstood what i said but i'm not going to go back and forth with them um so i'm just going to use the base coat and the top coat from another company which i don't like to do but i have now one two three four five six seven eight nine ten, ten colors by them and like i said i did not pick any of these colors out they actually sent them to me on their own accord so let's just go with the red so the first one is like I said, the name of the company is Nail Reserve. And the first one is Red Attic. And it looks like this. A very pretty, like, true red color. This one's not, like, an orangey red. And then the other one they sent me is Such a Star, which also is another red color. You can see the compare of the two. The difference. I think this one's more orangey and this one's more red. That's what that looks like. And then they sent me, we'll do the glitter colors last. Um, they sent me two very odd colors. They sent me like a purple that's called Thursday Drive. It looks like this is more like a lilac, maybe sort of lavender-y. Very pretty. I might have to try it out. Y'all know I usually don't do colors, but I think I'm going to experiment with some colors on my nails. And this blue one, and probably more Jalen Speed, is called Romantic. And it's like a tealish blue color. It's kind of like iridescent. So it could be super pretty. But it's like really like an iridescent within it. I think. Yeah. It's like iridescent teal color. 
So that'll be pretty. I think Jalen would love that one. I don't know if I would rock this one or not. It's a little too, maybe if it's a lighter iridescent, like a, a clear or white iridescent, I would. Then they sent me two pink colors, which is one of the colors I'm gonna use today. They sent me one called Blossom, which is a super light, like dusty pink color. Looks like this. And then they sent me one called Urban Pink, which is more of a mauve color. More of not like, I don't really like bright. So I'm thinking I'm gonna do more of the mauve one today. Um, so I think I'm gonna put this one on today that's called Urban Pink. I think this is more of my speed, but we will see. Doesn't that look just like a little bit better with my skin tone? I don't know. I'm still debating between the two pinks. I still, I'm leaning more towards this one. So I'm thinking I'm gonna stick with my gut and use the uh, Urban Pink. And then they sent me four glittery colors. Now, the, the glittery ones, so one of the glitter ones are the ones I used in my last video when I showed you the purple nails. So I used that one. This one's called Not A Shame. And this is more of a gold glittery color. So it's like mostly gold flakes in there. And it's real glitter inside of here. So it's not just look like glitter. It is glitter. And it's like this gold glittery color. Then they sent me this one called The Precious, which is more of like a pinky rose glittery color. And maybe I should use this one as my glitter nail today. I'm trying to see what these two, go. I feel like these two would go together. So I'll have to try them out. I always want a contrasting nail. I was thinking about doing this one, which is called Magnets. And it's more of a silvery, like a silver white glitter color. Looks like that. I apologize. Y'all know I usually don't do like nail stuff, so. It looks like that. So I'm kind of liking this one. So I'm kind of debating. And then this one's also one. This one's called Firefly. And this is more like glitter dust. Not full specks of glitter. This is more like glitter dust. Or maybe even it could be sort of like a, I don't know what you would call it. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. It's like a, I'm trying to get my face out of there so it can focus. It's more like of a, like a fine dust of silver, if you guys know what I mean. And since I'm not a nail person, I don't have like <laughs> little things you can paint and show you the color, but it looks like this. Let's see if we can get it to focus on it. I don't think it will, but it's, you can't see it, but it's more like a fine dust glitter versus a chunky glitter with big chunks of glitter in it. So this is, this is my debate, these three. <laughs> I don't want to, I'm trying to figure out which one I'm going to use as my accent color. Definitely use it as my main color, but I'm not sure which of these three I'm going to use as my accent color. So we'll just have to see. I don't know. I'll surprise you guys. So that's what I'm working on right now. Um, I'm trying to be done by 12 or so just to be, you know, doing whatever I need. Because at 12, I can just, you know, finish up my work for the day or whatnot. But I just wanted to check on you guys before it gets too late because, you know, I'm over here to always coming in on a, on a, on a day at like 12 o'clock. Now, I know y'all be like, girl, what, what what are you doing here at 12 o'clock? I was coming, y'all. I was coming. But, yeah, so that's what I'm doing now. Um, and that's the plans for the day. So to do a little cleaning, finish up work, and then go out and have a good dinner and drinks with the girls. And then come back home and chill. Oh, let me give you guys a dating update. So, so far, I have three prospects that I have on the dating app, I have decided that I am not going to be waiting for people to reply to me on these dating apps. Like one guy, I think I sent him a message like two days ago. So one guy I sent him a message yesterday at 7.57, he has yet to reply. I'm giving him like 24 hours, maybe 48. That, like that's my limit, I'm not playing games with you. Um, this other guy, he sent me a message at 2.52 a.m. I just realized. Um, but I told him good morning, thank you, this morning at 7.06. So either he work overnight and he just sleep or what. I don't know what he does, so we'll have to see why he hasn't responded. And then another guy, um, he responded yesterday when I was asleep already. It was like 9.40 and I responded to him this morning. He responded right away. But what I'm finding out about him is he doesn't know how to initiate a conversation. He doesn't know how to keep a conversation going. So let me let me just say this. I said, good morning, how are you? He said, good morning, I'm great, and you? I said, I'm doing great as well. Waited a little while, he didn't say anything. 
So at seven, that was like at 7.07. So at 7.19 to continue the conversation. Now I'm trying to be open-minded. I put, I see you like to travel. What has been your favorite place you visited so far? And he said, Houston and Jamaica. And then I said, Houston would have never expected that. What did you enjoy there? He said, the people, the atmosphere, food and entertainment. I was like, oh, okay, I've never been, but I'm supposed to be visiting my cousin in Dallas soon. And he said, they're totally different, but Dallas can be fun too. Not like Houston, though. And I said, oh, I'll have to add that to my list of, I put if places to go, but you mean of places to go. No response. That was at 839. It's 10 something now. So I'm not going to be like, if you can't hold a conversation, we can't be together. This is, this is it. I'm doing too damn much. Uh, so I am going to leave my nails this long. I think I can do stuff with it. I feel like I can do stuff. Feels like they're not super, super long, but I feel like they need to be shorter. So if I go with my first gut, I think I'm gonna cut them down a little bit. I think they're just a little too long for my liking. But I'm debating. When I say a little bit, I mean just a little, like not a lot, but no, I'm really a shorter nail girl person. So maybe like that, it's a little bit better for me. See, that's a little bit better. I can deal with that. I think this is way too long for me. Like that's way too long. I know some of y'all like, girl, please. I told, I'm the lightweight y'all with this stuff, okay? I don't do nails. Like even my natural nails don't grow long cause I'm always like picking with them or some shit or doing something. So I'm gonna try to get these all cut down and then file down. And I usually work on like one nail at a, one nail at one hand at a time. <laughs> I don't know why, I just feel like I need to get one hand done and then, you know, get the other one done. And I need to start doing my non-dominant hand first. Like my, no, my dominant hand first, so that when it's time, I can go a little faster once I get that one done. But I always do the other one. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking this length a little bit better. Okay, that one looks a little bit too long for me. So yeah, I think I'm gonna stick with these limbs here. Now, one thing I have noticed about these nails from Walmart, they're a little thin. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing, but so I've cut them down. So now they're a little bit longer, but they're not as long as they were before. So that's more of my speed. So we're gonna just file these up and then we're gonna work on getting them polished up and getting our stuff together for today. And I also need to, I need to buy that nail clipper thing that makes them even for you that I be seeing on Amazon, but I haven't gotten around to finding it or ordering it yet. So I'm sure y'all don't want to hear nothing about my nail journey, but I was just trying to keep y'all up to speed with what I be doing, <laughs> what my life be consistent of, you know? But at the moment, that's all I'm doing. Is trying to find a date <laughs> and trying to get these nails together. And I'm not really a girly girl, you know, I'm not a really girly girl, but I do like when my nails are done. But I also don't want to pay all that money to get my nails done either. So me learning how to do it is a flex for me. <laughs> Saves me money and I'll still look cute, you know what I'm saying? On a budget. Okay, I think these shapes are pretty good. They're a little wonky, but it is what it is. I think this one is real wonky though. It looks like it's uneven. I'm rambling. I'm gonna go and I'll show you guys when I finish this nail. And then you'll be found out which which gel color did I which glitter color did I use because I'm still debating. I don't think it's gonna be the pink one because it's just gonna be too much pink and I want to contrast. But that might make it be better, like more so. Maybe I will use this one since I know it'll match like really good. You know what, we're gonna go with the pink one. And I always do my nails again if I want to. Clearly. 
if the glitter ones pop off, I'll try another glitter one. <laughs> My nails always popping off. So if this one pop off, then I'll try another glitter color. But then that means there'll be two different glitter colors on the side. But it is what it is. It is what it is, people. Guys, right, so it is 2.30. Yeah, 2.31 and we are, I had my last meeting of the day and i am about to get my sheets out of the bed out of the bed <laughs> jesus my sheets out of the dryer and we're gonna go ahead and start tidying up my bedroom for the next 30 minutes or so i'm pretty much finished with my work day today i've done all that i can do and they're just gonna have to see me manana unless something comes up i get my sheets out here I tell you guys all the time when I'm at home, I try to multitask. Like if I know I have to get a lot of things done, you can get laundry put in and washed and dried. Maybe not folded because clearly I still haven't folded my laundry some, from two weeks ago. <laughs> Don't talk about me. Um, but washed and folded, washed and uh, dried, and even work on some other stuff. But I do have some clothes to hang up. I have some items that I need to review but i haven't gotten in the rest of the items so i can't yet but i do want to show you guys my nails this is how they turned out i don't know if this is gonna be good enough let's see if i can hold a sheet of paper can you guys see so that's how they turned out they're like a mauvey color and then we have the little glitter nail i don't know why i'm into the like all of these being plain and then having the one glitter nail maybe let me know if that's old-fashioned or not i feel like I like what I like. Old fashioned or not. Y'all know I'm old fashioned anyway. Um, but anywho, I do want to say thank you guys so much for your sweet thoughts on my date failure. <laughs> my first date in a decade failure that it was. Um, I did learn a lot. I did like talking to the guy. It just didn't work out. He just wanted to move way faster than I wanted to move. And that's okay. But I don't have to move with you. Like, I can move right on up out of your way. And that's clearly what I did. So, our room is not looking bad, bad. But it's looking bad, okay? So, we need to put the sheets back on the bed. We have clothes and bags that need to be put up. Clothes. Um, shoes. We need to, like, vacuum clean. And then my closet is atrocious. Like, I take clothes off and I just throw them right there. Yeah. Bad, bad cabin kitchen laundry that has been washed and dried but i was looking for something and took it out the bag and left it in the floor didn't close that stuff over here that's actually dirty this is actually clean <laughs> so i didn't put my purses back as you guys can see so yes yeah, so i have quite a bit of cleaning to do i'm actually going to go ahead and throw in my headphones and finish listening to the last of this audiobook because I am one book behind because I haven't finished this audiobook yet and started a new one so I need to actually start a new one probably today and have it finished by Sunday to get back on track um but that's where I am now so I'm just gonna let you guys watch me come in here to get my tripod make sure nothing's going on work wise um but yeah, I am loving these longer days. Let me know if you guys are loving these longer days. I love it when the sun stays out a tad bit longer and, you know, you get a little bit more sunlight and every day is more and more sunlight and the sun eventually will not go down to about nine o'clock. That's what I'm here for. Uh, <laughs> let me know if you love it as well. But let me get started. So let's go to the montage.
Jalen, it's getting late. I didn't realize what time it is. It's gonna be four o'clock in a minute. I have to leave here at four o'clock if I'm gonna meet the girls at five. So I have to finish cleaning up. <laughs> Hopefully, when I get back, if I'm not too lazy. I wanted to wear a cardigan, but y'all, when I went outside, why is it 85 damn degrees? I don't know what. How, I don't. I don't know why I thought it was cold outside. I haven't been outside. I went outside this morning. It was a little chilly, but it wasn't cold. Cold. So I'm going to wear my American Eagle Comfort Stretch Band. I think these are size 14, size 12. Black cargo pants. They look like this. And I wanted to wear a cardigan as a shirt, you know, and like do the button thing. I'm feeling like I still can because it might be cold in the restaurant. And then throw on a fedora since my hair look a mess, you know. My face ain't done, so does a fedora really help me? Or should I throw on a hat, like a baseball cap instead? Uh, I don't know. Because I'm not going to do no makeup. I told y'all all the time. I don't do makeup every time I go out. And so, clearly I don't have enough time to do it anyway. Um, like... This one from Quince is really lightweight and I could just have my black bra on and then I can kind of like button it a specific way and it should stay closed. But I really need to get this one in a, this is a medium so it runs over. So I think this is the boyfriend. I really need a small probably if I'm trying to wear it as a shirt. But I'm going to try that one out for... Or either this one, which is more of a, like, I don't know. That one's tan, and this is more of like a brownish beige, like a darkish beige color. So one of these two I wanted to wear as a shirt. And then throw on some black boots. Or either I need to put it on with some wide leg jeans. I feel like I need the lighter color cardigan with the black pants. And if I wear that dark color cardigan, I need to wear some wide leg, maybe like um, jeans or something. Like my light wash ones. But I think those ones are dirty. Yeah. I don't want to wear the dark ones. Ugh. I guess I should have picked my outfit out hours ago, right? That's my fault. Or I can really be bold and wear the black one and wear this dark brown vest as a shirt. Ooh, we might do that. That's a vibe. And then cuff the heel and throw on an ankle boot. Or a sneaker. Oh, I wish I had. I told Alicia I needed a dark brown fedora from her. I'm going to have to get a dark brown fedora. I know it's springtime, but I don't care about wearing dark colors. Y'all already know. Ooh, that will be a vibe. Because I don't have the other ones I put away. So, like, my cream color, my beige one, my white one and my beige one, I put it away with the summer clothes because it's linen. So, I don't have any winter or fall versions. 
That's what I'm thinking. Let me just try this stuff on, throw it on, and let y'all see how it look, and then we'll, we'll decide, right, together. <laughs> you guys, this is what I decided on because I'm not feeling it. So my hair is basically in a bun with a middle part. I have on this earrings from the Living Fearless collection. Same jewelry I've had on for the last couple of days. I did put on my watch and this little bangle I stole from Alicia. It's really a like a bracelet that holds your purse or something. I told her to get a new one. <laughs> See, that's what you can do when you got besties. Take each other's stuff. Anyway, this is a linen blazer. Since it's so hot outside, 85, I put on this linen blazer that I got from the thrift store in that antique hall when me and Alicia went thrifting and antiquing because of course all the rest of them are put up because I haven't brought out my spring clothes yet. Then I have on this black silk cami from Quince. Belt is from Target. It's just a black belt with gold buckles. These um, cargo jeans are from, what do you call the place? American Eagle. And then I just put on my tennis shoes, my Pumas. And that's going to be the outfit of the day. So let's go and get some food and some drinks with the girls. And yeah, I'll see you guys when we get there. <music> With them they have me drunk yeah. they know i don't like, eat you one drink no, i literally tried not. to start my car with the fucking radio <laughs> <laughs> oh i thought it was an air conditioner it was a oh it might have been it was an air conditioner <laughs> free why y'all ain't telling me i said have my hair <laughs> knotted what's had, wrong with your hair because i had it i had it knotted while i was eating oh you why? wanted to take it down yeah because no. she don't want to eat her food i need a sassy quote for my makeup <laughs> Oh yeah, you need it. Oh yeah, you need it. That's my charger. Oh, and I can't die. No, go ahead. Go the ahead. last time we was all in this car, we was in Nashville. No, <laughs> no, 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 we was in a cat car. car. But the last time we was all in the car together was in Nashville. Yeah, yeah that is true. And y'all was in there cutting up. It seems like it's a flashback. No, you acted a fool. It seems like a flashback of Nashville to me. Can't you was acting up. You was a cat. Yes, you was. No, you was throwing water on the water. Ridiculousness. Oh. <laughs> I had to keep y'all here apart. What, what is it? I never seen this place. We could have not go out with them. I have not eaten all day and she made me drink this damn drink that had like 70 ounces of liquor. It was a frose, so there's that. <laughs> How many ounces of liquor was in there? Too many. It was a it was probably a an ounce of vodka. I haven't eaten. It went straight to my head. I'm like leaning. So this is Nashville all over again. It is. But I wasn't drunk in Nashville. I was a sober one. Yeah, because you had to drive. Yes. Look so at these heifers. They're, they're up there. We're going they're to prime the wine bar. Champagne bar. Oh, shit. I don't like champagne. Yes, you do. You just don't know you do. Uh-uh. Yes, do. I don't want to taste it. Does it got fruit in it? Yes. They have they have drinks that are champagne based. I don't trust her ass. Yes. So Look at that little ass. I forgot how little the pool was. And we're actually we at, never made it in oh, the yeah, pool either. Never, because it's too <laughs> it's too deep. <laughs> So I never showed you guys, but my old oh my office was actually at this apartment, so it's late. Degree. So when y'all saw me packing orders, this is where I yeah, was. Yeah, we were over there on the other side. Yeah, but we had to be discreet because y'all know that part. So anyway, we're, we're going to the Prime Bar. I'll be back, y'all, because clearly I'm a little tipsy and things okay. and so there. Look at this. 
eat it. You not drunk? No, ma'am. Look at your eyes. This is why I don't go out of the house. This is why I don't go out of the house with this one. And I don't go out of the house with this one. And I don't go out of the house with this one. Whoa. Whoa. She might be alright. We go thrifting. She still do. Just just of hers. I don't know. <laughs> At a time tonight, baby. It is fucking 11 13. This why I don't hang out with them on a school night or work night. They be out here, out here acting like I'm a young chicken or some shit. I can't be hanging out in these streets like this, y'all. Like, I am so tired. We had a good night, but ooh, Jesus. I'm gonna be toe up in the morning. Toe up. You hear me? Toe. The fuck up in the morning. Oh damn! I'm supposed to brush my teeth first. Ew, hair. But even though I'm tired, I love hanging out with the girls. We always have such a good time, baby. They are so silly. We'd be out there acting a plum fool. I'm here for it. <laughs> oh, I definitely need it tonight. Even though I told them the next invite is a decline automatic. <laughs> they was like, girl, no. Oh, Lord. But anyway, we ended up going to a couple spots. We went to a little food place. They had ate up all the food before I got there. And then end up going to, um, what do you call it? So we went to a, a place called The Mayor, which is a new, I don't know what you call it, food spot in Birmingham and then we went to a wine bar you guys saw that that was like a wine bar we were sitting on the couch and then we went to the hookah spot um went to the hookah spot first we went by the gas station store because that hookah spot doesn't like serve food or anything they only have like sodas and stuff they don't serve any drinks or anything so we went like next door to get some food like lemon pepper we had lemon pepper wings and some other hot barbecue honey barbecue something child and then she got a philly steak and then we had like prosecco <laughs> we had angry orchards we had water chips candy like we was out there wilding out y'all wilding out but it was a vibe for sure it was a good vibe for sure and now I am trying to quickly wash my damn face and brush my teeth so I can get in this bed. Because I know tomorrow going to be rougher than a mug. Rough, 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 baby. Rough for sure. Face wiped here. Oh, last time I used these, these are like some kind of surfacing wipes or something alicia gave me is gly glycolic acid peel pads with blue agava 
I don't know what exactly it's supposed to do, but last time my face was burning on fire. And I think it's because I was like doing it rough. I didn't realize. I pulled off all the skin off my damn face. <laughs> oh man. It's something in it that like, it doesn't feel rough until you put it on your face though. Like it's like exfoliating or something. I don't know. But definitely had my face really smooth, whatever it was doing. Anyway, I have sensitive skin, so I only use that like every maybe once or twice a week, if that much. Um, and then the next thing we need is like my my eye stuff. So we'll use this eye stick tonight. Because I know my bags galore in the morning. All up past my damn bedtime. Got that on my eyes. I can feel it already. Doing whatever it does. I think they said it has to dry a little bit or something. I usually put on two eye creams. That stick and then this one is from Estee Lauder. Came out a little kit I bought. You know. Y'all know I smile all the time. So I have a lot of like smile lines around my eyes. I'm not really ashamed of it. But we want to keep them moisturized. Because I literally... I'm gonna be 45, so it is what it will. At this point, I'm not sweating it. All right, let's put on our nightly serums here. And pray something doesn't get agitated. <laughs> the way I'm around here doing shit. Tonight was fun and much needed. We did talk about Little Raggedy Man from last week's date. <laughs> and he was just being really encouraging about how this dating game is going to go, child. How this dating thing is going to go. Mm. All right. Teeth is brushed, face is washed and good and moisturized, all shiny and shit. Gotta get all these 9,000 damn pillows off my bed. Sometimes I'd be like, it's so cute. Then I'd be like, I don't feel like fucking with all these damn pillows tonight. But we gotta get the pillows off to go to bed, y'all. I wanna thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you guys enjoyed all the entertainment. I am about to go to bed. I'm going to be knocked out as soon as this light go out and my head hit this pillow. If you enjoyed the vlog, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you guys are subscribing. Subscribe, you guys. I'm trying to get to 2.5 subscribers before the end of the month. So share, subscribe, tell people you know that I'm the bomb and subscribe to my channel. <laughs> But if, seriously, if you enjoyed this video, give a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my Friday's vlog. And I will see you guys in the next one. Deuces. Good night. Good night.